you. I have never seen a nun play such an instrument. I learned the tile harper from church. I used it for coin. Turned away from God to a life of sin. The Gleeman, we were called. The finest bards in all London. Our music moved statues to tears, but no more. The Lord demanded I return to the fold. I begged Izane to join me, but she still toils with devil and drink. Music and dice have led her astray. She and that Kine Wolf. All my financial woes stem from their greedy shenanigans. You have debts, you mean? Large enough to send you into hiding. How dare you imply that I hide behind my cloth from men who would break my instruments for a mere 50 silver? Fifty silver I can cover. But for that sum, I want to hear the Gleeman perform together, one last time. Oh, you are temptation-wrapped redemption, stranger. I have missed the dice dearly. Perhaps God has other plans. This is not the first time I've heard a skull sing through tears. It's my beloved Ostrid. She loves me no more. Thus my quill stays dry. No poetry falling from its once proud beak. Can you only write verse when you're in love? Surely. I've not written a ballad about God since I was a girl. Only love moves my heart. Some of the best verses I have ever heard were thrown in battles of wit and rhyme. Not love sick crowing. I have never seen such a battle. Please, enlighten me. In our battles for glory and blood, we do sing. And give praise to the High One, for Odin is king. And we beg that the High One will give us his nod. That we someday might dine alongside our war god. Yes. Yes, I see the bricks of this verse. Fight, night, brawl. Valhal... Uh, no, no, no. Odin's Hall? <laughs> Get me my quill! I should like to hear what music you write. Will you perform it somewhere? If I can get Keener Wolf's bastardly face to help me with this meter. But you will have my thanks in this performance regardless. <laughs> Thank you. 
This place is heavily guarded. Easily. Kit doesn't hold a flame to the intensity of his on his older one. Now we will see if they play the square. talk to hide them about my next targets. Have a look.
Show me what lies ahead. Admit it, Alvis. I am the superior wordsmith. Admit to a falsehood? I would sooner square a circle. I suppose it will do for the moment, though it lacks the grandiosity of the Empire at its peak. You don't like it? It's not that. It's just not terribly Roman. It needs more. More relics, more statuary, more... Rome. If you happen to find any distinctly Roman artifacts on your travels, bring them by. We can make something of this mess yet. Salve, Eivor. We have not yet been introduced. I am Octavian Claudius Britannicus, a collector of Roman relics. Quite a name you have. If you are wondering what good I will bring to the settlement, you need only look to the greatest empire the world has ever known. Yes, I've seen their great ruins. Always impressive. But you have not seen them restored to their former glory, and I can help. Eivor, have you ever been in love? Why do you ask? I wonder if you know the feeling of having your very heart pulled from your chest as it pursues the elusive object of your desire. I wonder if you have ever known the bitter agony of seeing your beloved in the arms of another. I have known such a pain, and Maximus was its source. One of your lovers. Oh, God, no! No, no, no! Maximus is a snake and a leech. A slime-encrusted, blood-sucking viper of a man. He stole from me, my beloved. A perfectly preserved statue of a legionnaire. It is all I desire in this world. Lost, I heard. Maximus was holed up in and around London. Holding my beloved captive. Leering and pawing at it, no doubt. If you should ever see him, give him my regards. By that, I mean spit on him. Then recover my statue. Here you are. More relics for your collection. Show me what you found. Wonderful. And here is something for you. Bring me more like this. I must be on my way now. Goodbye. Dai dulci fruimini! If I find one crack, that statue is as fragile as the rest of I have a friend who needs that little Roman man you have, Octavian of London. I have a guess who your friend is, and no, Osbert cannot have his greasy pedestrian fingers on something so exquisite. Osbert? <laughs> oh, that is delicious. Yes, Osbert, a name fit for a poor failure. It'll cost a cow's weight in silver to get it in his hands. A 
Uh, I'll give you the filthy silver. Oh, oh, that is... Thank you. Well, I should hope so. You may take the Legionnaire. Back to Osper. Really? Making yourself at home? As best as I know how. It is good to be here, with you and your people. I feel my life has found a new road. Good. And just so you know, we have all kinds of sticks nearby. Oak, beech, pine... ...in case your bum starts itching from sitting too long. How kind of you, Eivor. I will be sure to stir your soup with one... ...after I have had a sound scratching. Eivor, good to see you. How are you, Tovi? Holding up? Much better now, I think. I miss Sven every day. And yet he is here with me. His hook got infused in every design. Believing that, it helps. Glad to hear it. And happy to offer myself as your first canvas. Good. Let's get started. I must take my leave. So long. Until next time, Eivor! Complicated. You do not appreciate the subtleties of a cutting flight. That is why you miss it. Octavian, I have something that may interest you. Hmm? Maximilian sends his regards. <gasps> what? He... he gave this to you? That perfect little wretch! How did he bring himself to part with it? Ask no questions, hear no lies. I only hope you enjoy it, and that neither of us have to see that man again. Oh, thank you, Eivor. Thank you. I'll see you later, friend. Vale, Eivor.
appreciate the subtleties of a cutting flight. That is why you misunderstand. Bassam contact you in Norway. He said he would be joining you. Yet here you are, and I have no word from him. Hytham, this will be hard to hear, but Bassam attacked us in Norway. Vengeance for some transgression of ours, imagined or real. You mean... You mean you slew him yourself? Sigurd and I, together, I know this comes as a... I do not understand. Why would he do such a thing? He loved Sigurd. He loved you. I do not understand it myself. Perhaps one day we can speak about this with more clarity. But for now, I am deeply sorry. I cleared Winchester of the Order. Yet to do so meant working with King Alfred. Your poor fellow soldier led you to the King of Wessex? How very strange. He, or she, is toying with you, it seems. Here. This marks few members of the Order. It gives me joy to take this from you. As a token of my deep gratitude, I want you to have this. You have done well, but there are more still. I have to go. Then go in peace. Guards here are vigilant.
found me out. I bow to this, but you will not unearth us all. You will not dig deeply enough. We are both a clot and cancer. We sit heavy in water, and yet we spread like a river's current. Are you well? Why would you ask such a question at such a time as this? Beneath your words is something of a size unknown, a mystery. It lurks behind every frail word from your mouth. I should talk to Hytham. Good to see you. 